Hey everybody, it's Tammy O'Neill with Lake Metro Parks, Kevin P. Quinton Wildlife Center. And we currently still are closed and not accepting animals due to COVID-19 safety concerns. But we want you to know that we are still here for you and trying to answer any wildlife questions you might have. Right now it's baby season, and especially um, mid-May to mid-June, deer are starting to have their babies. And so you might come upon a fawn in your yard, in an open field, or out in the woods while you're hiking. And sometimes it might seem like it's a really unusual spot for the mom to leave her baby, but the mother knows what she's doing. So it's really best for us just to leave them alone. And nine times out of 10, the baby doesn't need our help at all. It needs us just to keep a safe distance from it. But we know that when you find one, you're gonna be concerned and you wanna make sure that it doesn't need your help and that it's healthy. So we're gonna go over some ways for you to be able to tell that. And just to give you a little education about why they sit still and the mom leaves them where they're at. Also, um, just a tip, the state currently does not allow anybody to rehabilitate and raise fawns in the state of Ohio. So that's why we want to make sure that you're leaving them alone if they don't need our help. And then if they are injured or you have concerns about their health, we're gonna give you a number to call at the end of the video. So while we're out today, we're gonna to see if maybe we can find a fawn that maybe can help us with our questions. And I think I see one over here. Here's our little friend, Mr. Fawn. And he's doing exactly what he should be doing right now. He's laying really quiet and really still. And he's just laying there. And so we're gonna see if he can help us answer some of your questions. Good afternoon, Mr. Fawn. I'm sorry to wake you up from your afternoon slumber, but I was hoping you could help us answer some questions that people might have. And I also noticed you're laying here by yourself. Where's your mom? Shh. My mom's not with me right now because I'm too little to keep up with her. So she puts me in this nice grassy area for me to hide and then wait for her to come back. Well, it sounds like your mom's pretty smart. I like that idea. Now, I also noticed that you have a lot of white spots. What are your white spots for? They're so pretty. The spots help me hide from predators. They camouflage my silhouette so they can't See me. And you know what? What? They can't smell me either. <laughs> they can't? Why is that? Nope. When I'm this little, little baby. Yeah? Uh, they can't smell me. I don't have a scent yet. Well, that is really cool. I didn't know that. Now, what about, why can't they find you if you make noise? Don't fawns make noise? I always see you laying there so quiet, but you must make some kind of sound. Nope. We don't make any sound. You just lay there quiet so they just walk right by you? Exactly. Well, that sounds perfect. That's some pretty cool survival skills you've got there. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, what about if somebody finds you? What, it, what should they do if they see a fawn laying still? They should just leave me alone. I'm perfectly fine. My mommy will come and check on me later. Now, how often does your mom come and feed you? Because I haven't seen her in a while. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. She doesn't visit me often. Just a couple times a day is all I need. And then I drink her yummy milk. Well, that is perfect. Now, another concern a lot of people have is they see a fawn and sometimes they think that they're hurt or injured. What should they do with them? Well, you should definitely leave me alone. But if you can't, you think I'm injured, you can call 1-800-WILDLIFE. Well, that is a great tip. Thanks for sharing that phone number with us. And we also appreciate you waking up and, sorry though, I did wake you up. You didn't wake up on your own. So to help us out today, that was really great. You're welcome, I guess. Now I'm gonna go back to sleep. If you could leave me alone, that'd be great. Thank you, bye. <laughs> no problem. And so we want to thank Mr. Fawn today for helping us out, but we also want to give you a couple tips. Um, real fawns don't talk, so if you come upon one, please don't wake them up to ask them any questions. Just leave them alone. They need our distance, not our assistance. And you can, like Mr. Fawn said, if you're concerned about a fawn that you find, just call 1-800-WILDLIFE and they can give you more information. Thank you.